When 20-year-old Harriet Hosmer arrived in St. Louis in the fall of 1850, she was not yet internationally known as the world's first successful female sculptor. Martha Parsons, not yet Mrs. Charles Parsons, was a 20-year-old debutante moving in the social circles of the city's upper class. Harriet, Charles, and Martha were destined for a friendship through the arts. Hosmer traveled from Boston to St. Louis for the sole purpose of studying anatomy at the McDowell Medical College with the support of one of the most successful and powerful businessmen and politicians in St. Louis, Senator Wayman Crow, 1808-1885. With no Northeastern medical school that would allow her to study anatomy, she called upon Wayman Crow for assistance. Crow was able to use his influence on Dr. Joseph Nash McDowell. Dr. McDowell led the medical college in both praise and in rumors. 